Before you guys watch today's video, I want you to click on this video that you see right here right now. It's one of Ferris's friends who is Yo-Yo Master Genius and uh, he made this video where he's just fucking like ridiculous yo-yoing. So go watch that. It'll open in a new tab so you can come straight back and watch the battle afterwards. But please do that. I would appreciate it and so would Ferris and it would be very cool if you did so. Otherwise, uh, you can stay here and watch the video, but I don't recommend that. You should watch that first. So go do that anyway. I've got a battle here against Soul Soul Black Dude and it's a black white two game because that's what we do here today and yeah i kind of just threw some random things together with rain as a bit of a theme but nothing too concrete i guess like it's not really a very solid team it's just things that kind of go in tandem a little bit so we'll see how it goes i mean it should be okay his team seems kind of uh same way as mine so it'll be a bit balanced um so he leads off with uh, this tiger fucker thing and i know he has an espion but what I'm going to assume is that he's going to predict me to not stealth rock knowing that he has Espeon and therefore, you know, stay in and do whatever like Earthquake, which is exactly why I do go for the stealth rock. So I do actually get them up before he's able to bounce them back, which is fantastic. I'm uh, just going to keep those up there for the rest of the match and uh, make me very happy that uh, I have them on the field as opposed to having to, you know, do annoying things and trying to get around Espeon to get rid of them. So I'm going to go into my Tornadus, uh, hopefully dodge an Earthquake on the, the switch in and I think I do do that. He goes for it. And it doesn't affect me, so uh, obviously he's going to have to switch out now. He's probably scarfed, judging by the amount of damage that it did to my Ferrothorn. It looks to be scarfed, because Banded is very powerful, so I think it would have done a bit more. But he goes into Jirachi, and uh, I kind of just uh, go all out for the U-turn here, because I don't feel like there's any point in me going for Hurricane when he still has a Steel-type on his team remaining. And, you know, everything else is kind of weak to it, but, uh, you know... Jirachi isn't so. I'm going to turn out, going straight into Darth Paul, get my rain going, uh, just get that beneficial going. Also, yeah, I didn't want to go to Hurricane because I didn't have rain up yet, so may have missed and would have been a little bit annoying. But in any case, I have rain up now, so I'm going to go straight into Polytoad and go for the, the Hydro Pump, I'm hoping. Uh, only he paralyzes me and I get paralyzed pretty badly at this point. I think I get power hacks like a lot of times and it really annoys me. First, actually, I missed Hydro Pump first of all. That was missed Hydro Pump because there wasn't any power hacks animation. And then he decides to set up Stealth Rock, which is like, okay, fine, he gets rocks on the field anyway, it doesn't really make a huge difference. I mean, Tornadus is going to be annoyed, but it does have Regenerator, so it's not really a massive deal. And then I get paralyzed, and I'm like, oh, well, I, you know, I want to hit a rain-boosted Hydro Pump on this thing eventually. It's just not letting me do it, man, just holding me back with the paralysis. So in comes Caldeo, and uh, I try and go for another Hydro Pump. And I do manage to get this one off this time. So I managed to hit the Keldeo really, really far down, like below half. So I'm pretty sure that another Hydro Pump will bring it down to the point where I can just come in with whatever I want to and revenge kill it at this point. I don't really care. So I'm going to try and do that as he calm mines. But what do you know, I get paralyzed again. So not really going well for me so far. I should have like a real heavy dent in the Jirachi at this point and the Keldeo should be on the brink of death but alas, Parahax decides to not play into my favour and I'm going to have a bit of a, an uphill struggle from here on without Politoed in the back of my pocket. So I go into Tornadus because it is the fastest team fastest team, the fastest thing on my team and I'm going to just go straight out for the Hurricane uh, maybe hoping to get the confusion hacks on the Jirachi when it switches in but uh, unfortunately I don't think that's going to happen I just get the hurricane off and uh, you know it does a sizable chunk but uh, nothing really to write home about it is a Jirachi and it's probably specially defensive so it's going to take it really nicely and obviously uh, lefties is going to be uh, buffing him as well so um, not looking too great for this Tornadus right now good thing is I do have Regenerator so I'll pretty much be staying at the same amount of health uh, hopefully if he doesn't hit me with a move every time I switch in I should be good to go so I go into my slug goat because it's a mix between a slug and a goat right because it has horns like a goat and it's also it's, yeah it doesn't it's not very convincing is it it's just well you know the G was there and I thought it would make a nice sort of intermediate re between the word slug and the word goat and I don't know it's 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 my expert gelt, gelt uh, expert belt gastrodon as I kind of used in the previous video and um, I'm just gonna go for the surf here he switches an espion and he's like holy balls that is so much damage it almost killed my espion and i was like yep you almost did that it's kind of sort of bluffing specs a bit i guess and uh you know 
he gets the light screen up, not wanting to take heavy down from Surf again, uh, but he is going to die to this one because he's like no HP anyway, so I suppose I'm going to go down. And the situation is looking alright. The only bad thing, of course, is that I won't be doing much damage with my special attacks at this point because he has the screen up. So, uh, obviously, Meloetta comes in. I have no freaking clue. I have never, ever battled a Meloetta before, so I have zero idea what it does. I have no clue at all what the hell its purpose is. And so I go to Ferrothorn thinking it's like grass or something. I don't even know. Apparently, it's normal psychic. And it goes for that one move, Relic Song, which allows it to transform from a normal psychic into a fighting uh, normal. Normal psychic? Normal fighting. Yes, it's normal fighting now. Funny thing about this form, it has base 128 attack and base 128 speed. So I was thinking, you know, maybe I could go to my Tornadus to outspeed it. No, it's base 128 speed. Uh, a Tornadus is 121 in the new form, but 128 sun is very high, and that is that is not good for me in any way at all. So I guess my only real option is to go to Toxicroak and try to sucker punch the thing, really. Um, I'm not quite sure what else I have. I have Kong, I guess. And the good thing about this guy is that I don't think he has anything to really hit me to take me down in one shot so he does go for the shadow claw and that's really not going to do a lot to me i'm going to be able to finish the thing off with i believe just a poison jab to the face because i have stab and you know sheer force life orb physical nino king uh kong the second doing the work so i do manage to kill the thing unfortunately ferrothorn is lost in the process but i just didn't want to switch anything in on that thing it was too dangerous close combat would have probably just finished nino king off in a two hit ko anyway because just the power the raw power would have been deadly um but uh he's gonna go to caldeo now threaten me out and uh what I really should have done here is gone to Toxicroak as opposed to Gastrodon, simply because I would have been able to sponge the water hit. I also would have been able to resist the Sacred Sword, or Secret, I don't even know which it is. Uh, but unfortunately, Gastrodon comes in and it dies for no reason whatsoever, and I really could have used Gastrodon later stages of this match. Uh, bad, bad play on my part. Definitely shouldn't have done that. You know, the switch was obvious, so he was obviously going to go for the fighting move. I just should have gone to Toxicroak instead, and really going to hurt me uh, quite a bit. So, uh, I'm going to go to Toxicroak now, because obviously he can't really do anything apart from Hidden Power Ice Me, and I doubt he's going to stay in and try to do that anytime soon. So, he's going to go into his Tiger, get the Intimidate off, uh, do some uh, nice uh, lowering of my attack, and I actually saw Lance on the switch. So, I have plus one now, but uh, what I'm expecting is because I've been playing relatively predictably during the entire match, I'm thinking that he's going to over-predict and think I'm going to go to Tornadus to dodge the Earthquake, which is why I decided to stay in, and he, in fact, Fax is going to go for the Stone Edge and not only, uh, you know, overpredict with that, but he's going to miss it, which uh, helps even more. Uh, you know, Stone Edge wouldn't have done much to Toxicroak anyway because of the resistance, but being able to dodge it is always a nice thing. So I do take him out with the uh, Ice Punch and uh, down he goes. Now, what I really should have done here is I should have stayed in and sucker punched the Tornadus, uh, the Thunderous guy, I mean, in the face instead of going into Kong 2. Now, what I, I do manage to, uh, you know, get the Thunderbolt sponged with the ground type. But what I should have done here is gone back to Toxicroak to sponge the Hidden Power Ice and then gone for a Sucker Punch instead of kind of sacrificing Nido King to this Hidden Power Ice here. Bad plan because Nido King would have been useful for his Jirachi. Uh, definitely would have used that to help bring the Jirachi down. Um, unfortunately, I just don't switch. And, you know, this is really causing me a lot of frustration because this Thunderous is going to be outspeeding pretty much most of my things. Uh, the only way I can kill it is being able to go for a Sucker Punch with the Toxicroak and then finish it off with a Hurricane from my Tornadus. None of my Tornadus' moves can l reliably kill it from the range it was at, so I had to go for the Sucker Punch, uh, bring in Toxicroak and die. Now, what I wanted to happen, you know, originally I should have stayed in with a plus one and Sucker Punched him. He probably would have died to that because of Life Orb and because of the fact that he uh, would have taken more damage from the Sucker Punch. Then I could have brought in, like, this Tornadus or even my Nido King, and, you know, threatened his other dudes. But, unfortunately, all I have left now is uh, Tornadus after, you know, I made those couple of stupid plays, so I've put myself in an awkward position where Jirachi is really the one thing that stands in my way. I don't have a problem with Kelio, I can just kill it with a Hurricane. I'm not sure why he just went into Kelio here. He should have just gone into Jirachi to make it a 2-0, I guess. But, you know, whatever. I guess he just wanted to sacrifice Kelio. Something along those lines, whatever. It doesn't make a big difference to me, really. Uh, he goes into Jirachi now, and I could Heat Wave, 
uh, definitely, but the rain is up, of course, so that's not going to really be doing much. Uh, so I kind of decide to superpower, and this is also what kind of bites me in the ass, because he is a physical Jirachi, and he's running Thunder Wave Iron Head. I'm not sure if I could have lived in Iron Head anyway after the defense drop, but... Uh, Oh well, I mean, it doesn't make a huge difference in the end, because his Jirachi is going to be able to paralyze me, and then it does what Jirachi naturally does, which is to go for the Iron Head, and, uh, you know, because I have my defenses dropped, there's no way I'm going to be living a Stab Iron Head from a Jirachi, and there's probably no chance, even if I did live, to break out of the Power Flinch, so, there you go, a uh, couple of, unfortunately, uh, you know, misplays at the end kind of cost me also that a bit of hacks earlier on with the paralysis and polytoad was a little bit annoying but overall it was a pretty balanced game and uh, came down to it in the end it was only a 1-0 so uh you know it was a fun game uh, gg solo solo black dude you can go check him out and uh i'll leave his link in the description uh, i think uh though if you want to check out another cool video you should click the one on the screen right now and plug in ferris out the asshole today because i love him so very much he's the wheel of the ferris um there is a video on the screen you can click right now which is his 2000 sub special which includes a try commentary with Ferris myself and Nick and it's pretty funny and it's good fun and I enjoyed it and you should probably go look at it and enjoy it as well otherwise I'll see you guys next time thank you very much for watching goodbye